Hey folks, welcome to 100 Days of Practice. This is day 33 and today's topic is jazz piccolo trumpet. Why not? So I think there are a number of reasons why jazz piccolo trumpet is not seen more frequently. Probably the biggest reasons are that most people who are really serious jazz players don't play piccolo trumpet and most people who really like playing the piccolo trumpet are not necessarily jazz players. So I grew up hearing some of my favorite trumpet players play jazz piccolo trumpet on occasion. People like Alan Mazzuti, Lou Soloff, but it always seemed to be more the exception. It was maybe a novelty rather than one of the key instruments for jazz. So I started playing a fair amount of jazz piccolo trumpet in 1995 when I started touring with Rhythm and Brass. But even for me at that point, it was something of a novelty and I, I didn't see it as a serious instrument. And then I heard a recording of Marcus Stockhausen uh, on an ECM release playing uh, piccolo trumpet and he sounded amazing. Marcus, of course, is maybe not as well known as he should be as a wonderful jazz player as well as a great soloist. At any rate, he seemed to be treating the piccolo trumpet as a serious jazz instrument on par with the B-flat trumpet and flugelhorn. In fact, it made me think of soprano saxophone. In fact, I'm, I'm such a fan of jazz saxophonists that maybe it was natural that I'd start to think of my instruments as paralleling the arsenal of saxophonists. I think of my B-flat as an alto saxophone, my flugel as a tenor, and now the piccolo as a soprano saxophone. So how about addressing the question of why would you want to play jazz saxophone? Well, first of all, I think it really offers something different from the other instruments. You know, I think I can play with a certain kind of precision and brilliance in the high register that I simply can't on the B-flat, even though it doesn't actually increase my range. So if you do it at the right time of place, it can be quite a cool effect. core modern jazz settings. which means they probably play classical piccolo trumpet, so why not play some jazz too? So how does one get started with jazz piccolo trumpet? I would suggest going with familiar forms and easy tempos. The biggest problem you're going to find is you're often fingering in the wrong octave at first. fingerings, I think my biggest weakness as a jazz piccolo trumpet player is that I'm not using the low register enough. 
And that's simply because I haven't really gotten good with the fourth valve. So that's something I'm working on actively at this point. So how am I working on this problem? Well, for one thing, I'm using some of the same form fundamentals exercises that I use in the B-flat trumpet or the flugelhorn and making sure I go as low as possible, not shying away from that fourth valve at all. side of things, I'm finding that some of the easiest exercises on the B-flat can be quite difficult on the piccolo, even in an easy key. But if you think that's hard, try it on a rotary pick. And in fact, I love the sound so much I would love to make it my primary jazz piccolo, but I gotta figure out those valves, man. Okay, so another way I'm working on this, especially to try to sort out the pitch issues with the fourth valve, is playing melodies that take me down into that bottom register of the instrument. when practicing improvisation, I'm forcing myself to go down into that register that is quite comfortable for me on the B-flat, but normally I would avoid on the piccolo because of the fourth vowel. about the piccolo trumpet that I think is often overlooked is that it's a lot more flexible of an instrument than we give it credit for. For example, one day I discovered you can play pedal tones on the instrument and you can also play multiphonics with the pedal tones. Whether you should or not maybe is a different matter. <laughs> I don't know, that's probably not going to fly in any Baroque trumpet concertos, but perhaps in modern music or in a jazz setting. Um, at any rate, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this, and I hope you found it at least a little bit informative. And go for that jazz piccolo trumpet. Have fun.